Chip Ganassi Racing grew from two cars in the IndyCar Series in 2010 to four cars in 2011. We had a choice as to where to put the second team. We chose Brownsburg largely as a result of the interaction with the folks from Hendricks County, uh, the incentives they offered, and the ease with which we were able to make that process happen and move into that building. The, the Hendricks County Economic Development Partnership uh, helped us in a great deal by providing the assistance that we needed to work through the, the uh, incentive programs that were offered and the incentives themselves which were substantial and made a real difference for us. The Hendricks County Economic Development Partnership was instrumental in us moving out to Brownsburg. The investment that they made in our startup really helped us grow as a company. We're in year two and things are going really well. Our sales are picking up really heavily. And a lot of the things that they've helped us with at the town of Brownsburg and with the Hendricks County Economic Development Partnership have gotten us here. They've executed it on all fronts. Um, they've been successful in getting everything that they promised they were going to get and it's really helped us. And it's made it easier for us. When I'm talking to companies that are interested in coming to this market, I kind of tell them, you know, you need to talk to the, the, this group. They help you execute your business plan a lot faster. And it's nice because you can pick up the phone and call them if you've got any issues or anything you need to work through. It's been a great help. As our plans for the FM grew, our FM radio station grew, um, I called Cinda and said, what do you think the next step should be? This is what I want to do. She introduced me to SCORE, who helps us with our business plan at no charge. And SCORE, in turn, is working with the partnership, the Hendricks County Economic Development Partnership, and working to find out what Hendricks County wants. What do they want in a radio station? Uh, what kind of support are we going to be able to get? These are things I wouldn't be able to find out. I wouldn't know who to go to. It's just a great organization to help start up businesses, and I'm proof of that. It was as important to identify what part of the country to go to. Uh, we looked at green states like California and Massachusetts. It boiled down to uh, where we're going to get the most traction, where we're going to get the, the fastest and the quickest start to enable our company to really launch in a successful fashion. We worked with uh, Cindy Kelly here at uh, Hendricks County uh, Economic Development Partnership. Uh, and all these people have, have made us feel welcome. Uh, they've uh, identified our business as something that they want to, to locate in the community. And their encouragement has been, why not uh, Hendricks County and, and Brownsburg and making sure that, that the fit is right you know, for our company. I'm Cinda Kelly, Executive Director of the Hendricks County Economic Development Partnership. I am proud to introduce a series of videos to help inform small companies about where to go for services. People think we're only here for the big companies. In reality, 91% of our companies have 10 or fewer employees, and those companies represent 46% of our employment base. Whether you are self-employed or you have a company with 100 or more employees, we have programming in place to help you excel in Hendricks County. Public Private is brought to you by the Hendricks County Economic Development Partnership, Hendricks College Network, SCORE, the Small Business Development Center, and all of our local chambers. So call us, call us, and let us help you, and let us help you help your business excel in Hendricks County.